it's a it's always a really exciting occasion. It's only the fourth time that an Irish team has taken their place uh, in the group stage. We covered Dundalk a few years ago and there was no fans in the stadium. So this is a bit different and, and, a, and a bit special again. What are you expecting? Well, I think when you look at Ro Shamrock Rovers' uh, progress so far in the various competitions they start in the Champions League, the two ties that they won overall, they had the home game first and they won convincingly. They beat Hibs and Malta 3-0. They were able to go and play in the away game, played very well, were able to play more reserve game and, and get a draw. They then scoop you to beat be at home. Richard was at the match too. They won 3-1 and again then they were able to go and manage the match in the second game. Whereas the two that they lost, they were beaten convincingly away from home. And they played with, with kind of courage in the away matches and had plenty of possession. But I felt they left themselves too open on the counter-attack at times. And uh, they were well beaten on the score lines, which made the home games very difficult. Now they're in position a home game again against your guards, who have won three three rounds at this level in the conference, in the conference to get through. Last one impressively against Apoel. They won three nil at home. They were beaten in Cyprus, but they won overall. Generally, the Swedish teams, I think League of Ireland teams, are capable of beating them. In the past, Malmo have been beaten here. Pats beat Ellsberg a few years back as well, too. There's not that much. They're not technically brilliant teams. Um, Malmo are usually a little bit ahead if they're the league winners, if they're the Champions League. I've seen them several times over the years in the Champions League. But I think Sean Grovers can match Dual Gardens and I think they need to do as they did in the two home games that they won the first leg. Do the same tomorrow night. I think Rory Gaffney, very important to them. I think he's been exceptionally good. Alan Manis has been brilliant. Um, and I, I, I think... I think it would be important if Chris McCann is fit for tomorrow night okay. that he plays in the middle of the pitch and gives them good balance in there. Quick word from you, Richard, because it's your, your local team uh, in Tallah Stadium. Big, big day for them. And Stephen Bradley was talking about says, you know, the, was talking about the money that they'll get if, mm. if they win 500 grand for a win. He says, no, it's about measuring ourselves, testing ourselves, going and playing our football on the European stage. Yeah, and uh, obviously they'll be delighted with themselves who haven't got to this stage. But there has to be more ambition now. They can't just settle for this. <clears throat> they feel like they've got an opportunity in European football. The Conference League is almost made for Irish Irish clubs to go and have a go at it. And I think the the way they've performed, like Brian says, in their home games, there's an opportunity for them tomorrow to not just go and play in the Conference League, but to go and win a game. And again, every time they win a game, it makes things easier as the further they go and next year yeah. and the year beyond. Indeed.